Okay, this is 1190 Niagara number 14. Just to kind of let you see where we are. Um, that is Stony Hill out there. This is a corner lot. And then that's where Paul's place was between there. So this property is inside this fenced area. So here is the garage. There's going to be stamped concrete in here. There's no grass in here. We'll go that way in just a second. There's a radon system in place. Looks like this door opens, yeah, so it's split if you wanted to open half of it. Not sure that it's heated or cooled. There are some blinds in here. There's that radon. Garage, garage door opener. And then there is a little gate right there for going out front, which that would be the only grass area. Stairs right here. Nice front door. I'll go ahead and go upstairs since I'm here. So, again, just a loft area, but you can make it a bedroom. it there. Fireplace. It's a solar tube. Kitchen. So kind of some island area here. Dishwasher. There's out there. Bedroom. Um, 
vaulted ceilings, and the flooring. Nice tall vanity. Bathtub. And then here is the washer and dryer. And then this slides in case you needed to get behind the washer and dryer there. So it's just kind of a sliding door here. And then also a sliding door here for the bedroom area. And then that way you can see you get better access to the washer and dryer and the heated towel rack. And then going into the bedroom down here, kind of a, a makeup area. And then it looks like the closet was removed here. And so the bed was set in there. That's a queen size bed. Be tough to get a king in there and have nightstands. Um, but you could put a king on this wall. This is what is being used for a wardrobe here since the closet is gone. Um, and then there's that other bedroom there. And then kind of a little pantry or linen here. And then we'll go downstairs. So here is a bedroom downstairs with a bathroom. This one would be better for a king size bed. And then this has got a shower. built-ins here with a fireplace maybe painting studio great craft room here painted concrete floors And the furnace on this, um, according to Fort Collins um, permit records, was 2002. And then uh, they couldn't find the permit, so it could be included in the basement finish. Um, there is the tankless water heater, which the homeowners say was put in in 2010. And then we've got kind of a, a wet bar area here, but it looks like another built-in closet. And then there's access to that water heater area in there. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll go back upstairs and take a better look at the um, dining room area, which is kind of a screened-in porch. floor radiant heat and then it's got these two little electric 
heat, I'm assuming here. You can see where the electric hooks in. Those sliders open. And then there's another one up there. You have to go high, so like, okay. You have to go high. Like, you know, you're, you'll be in 370. 